Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good? Once again, it's your boy King Zaki, your favorite Moorish American, the Moorish American battle rap vlogger. What's good? What's popping? Peace and love. Praise the all. Hope y'all having a good day out there. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Don't pay attention to none of this corporate bullshit that's going on out here. Live your life. Take care of your fam. Do what you got to do, baby. You know what I'm saying? Realize that you the possessor of this land for real, for real. When it get down to it, aboriginal. Go ask daylight. All right, now look. Woo! Man. Been watching this murder mook and this Tay Rock, bro. Taking notes. Taking notes, okay? First of all, first of all, Mook came in there very well prepared. Very well prepared. You can't say he didn't. Very well. With backup bars and freestyles and all that shit. First, before the, even, the battle even started, Mook was so serious and be catching every word. The smack was like, yo, to my left, I got my brother Tay Brock. To the Rizite, I got my nigga Murder Mook. Murder was like, yeah, 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 Harlem, all that good shit, whatever, whatever. But I ain't your brother. I'm not your brother too. I'm not your brother too, because I be talking about some real shit and I be telling the truth. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. That was hilarious. That already kicked the battle off right there with Mook. You already know Mook coming to destroy this nigga, bro. Destroy this nigga, bro. Destroy this nigga. And before I get even deeper into this shit, I heard a lot of y'all talking about Tay Rocks did better in this battle than he did the Daylight battle. Bro, what's wrong with y'all, man? For real. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. What's wrong with y'all? For real. The Covine got y'all fucked up. What's good? Y'all mentality on who's winning and who's not is bipolar, bro. You mean to tell me that Tay Rock did better in this Mook battle than he did in the Daylight battle? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. First of all, my nigga came through with the 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 Ninja Cobra looking as Mortal Kombat looking as I left my garments in the children's section looking as type hoodie with the joint son and and I get it I get it Tay Rock if you're watching I get it the red the black, the supreme feminine energy. At least that's the knowledge where I'm coming from with it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a feminine outfit that you wore, bro. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and then with the grimy beard, it just looked disgusting, bro. Like, for real, bro. You just didn't look right, bro. Like, just being totally honest, bro. And then the the I mean you lost to me you lost the battle right there. As soon as you walked in like that and I seen what you had on. Then I seen what Mook had on, the all white, crispy Harlem. Coming to get it. Purity, ruler of the land, all white. Mook. Mook tore him down, bro. Then Rock, how you going? Then the jacket you had on in the in the daylight battle. I bruh, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't like how you battle and like your style and all that, because I do, my nigga, but damn, bro. The imagery. Real talk, you know, if you really wanted to win, you should have came in there, grimy rock. Uh work like I just got off a shirt. You know, I mean, a uh, uh, shirt, shirt on like I just got off of work. Grimy jeans. You know what I'm saying? Grimy beard. Fitted cap. Dirty. Grimy. You would have had a way better chance if you came through like that. For real, for real. 
a way better chance. You know what I'm saying? A way better chance than caffeine. Oh, man, caffeine got the statistics where Rock is winning. And it was a clear 2-1. I'll give it a 2-1 move. 2-1 because Rock's second was fire. It was. The shit that nigga was saying in the second and then K-Shine and then DNA will get you the fuck out of here. That was pretty dope. I was feeling how he came with that whole concept of how you know, you an old nigga coming to battle these new niggas that you can't beat, which is not true. But the concept of how he threw that that whole round together, his second round, that was that was that was that was hot. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Mook's second round was impeccable, untouchable type shit. This nigga was saying, like, bro, bro, Mook killed me when he came with the hello, hello. Is anybody home? Nope. Vacant. <laughs> bro, bro, man, I'm keeping it all the way, all the way infinite with y'all niggas, bro. Like, I don't. First of all, if you watch the interviews before they battled, Rock was kind of already like, man, I know it's finna get spooky, but it's like, man, you, you already know. You already knew. But it was a cool battle, man. It was cool. Y'all go watch it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Because as far as I'm concerned, I got Mook 3-1. I mean, uh, I got Mook 3-0. <laughs> 3-1. I got Mook 3-0, if not a humble 2-1. Like, man, like I said, I mean, Rock second was fire, but Mook second was impeccable. Mook first was impeccable. Mook third was like suspending animation. The shit that he was talking about. Say I'm lying. <laughs> Yo, y'all, y'all need to, if you haven't watched it, you know, I caught the live joint. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know how y'all watch battles, but watch that battle, son. Watch that. Rewind it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really think Tay Rock got that battle, I don't know what to tell y'all, bro. And that's not the best Tay Rock I've seen. This is not. Some of the best Tay Rock I've seen was in that daylight battle, though. For sure. For sure. I can't get with y'all on that one, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I can't get with y'all. <laughs> that nigga Daylight said if uh if Tay Rock Tay Rock come as a vampire in Dracula joint and then Mook come as the blade. Uh, oh man, the battle will be man. That nigga daylight be trolling, son. Trolling, son. But I, I, I mean, maybe Tay Rock would have had a chance if the costume shit would have happened. I mean, because it was Halloween. But the the whole man that that's the that's that too. The whole gangster part about that too was Mook was himself the whole time. The whole time, you know what I'm saying? And like, man, I man, I love Mook because. You could see how much passion this nigga has for this shit, how long he been doing it. You know what I'm saying? This nigga appreciate every moment in battle rap, every moment in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Man, get that nigga Mookus Flowers and stop playing. Unless y'all niggas coming with something better. For real. For real, dog. For real. For real. Because it's no way, it's no way Tay Rock got that battle. You know, like I said, maybe that that second round, and that's it, bro. Imagine Mook on on a Lux level, if y'all would be able to comprehend that and accept that and inherit that type of knowledge from that nigga. Cause I know what Mook can really do, like past tier level. I I want I'm, I'm I'm fuck the other garbage battle rap fan. I want to see that. Mook. You're already dangerous on the surface, just like Lux is. And could you imagine a, a Mook Lux all in one Mook Super Saiyan 5, 6 on y'all niggas? Y'all probably couldn't because y'all wouldn't be ready to listen. And, and uh, it probably might go over y'all heads. But look, we ain't got no more time for that shit, bro. You seen that daylight battle, bro? At the end. 
amp up the motherfucking bar, nigga. For real. For real. The gun clapping is cool, but if you can't mix up, mix knowledge and wisdom with that and put it in and make that shit sound hot as fuck, then you gotta go. Real talk. Real talk, you gotta go, my nigga. You gotta go. Your time is run. It was a good run, but you gotta go. You feel me? But yeah, man, I... I Look, I, I man, that battle was. I only rewatched that battle for the move bars. Just keeping it all the way infinite. Just keeping it all the way infinite, bro. I only watch that for the move bars now, and it's like, it's like a father and son, bro. No disrespect to Rock, but bro, he was talking to that nigga like a real son, you know, because they got history, you know, Dot Mob, you know what I'm saying. They got a little bit of history, you know what I'm saying? But now I kind of see the love that Tay Rock really had for this nigga and really wanted from this nigga when he was around, you know what I'm saying? You could see it in the battle, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Rock came in, you know, maybe as just a man, like, yeah, I'm going to work this nigga. I don't think he was ready for what, for the shit that he heard, you know what I'm saying? And once again, I'm going to remind y'all, battle rap is cosmic. Go look up the stars on that day on the 31st. What y'all call Halloween, which is really Ancestors Day. You're praising your ancestors. Mook just got through saying that. And why y'all niggas calling on dark forces? And Mook brought up the mom joint. You know, F his moms and shit. My nigga was like, watch the forces you talk against. Yo, Mook. Nigga, I got a clip full of garlic tip hollow. Garlic tip hollow tips. Mook ain't coming. Mook ain't playing. Mook ain't never. He ain't never been playing. You know what I'm saying? Mook is an elevated, a elevative battle rapper. Period. Period. This nigga just gonna keep getting better. And he been trying to show y'all to get used to that. You know what I'm saying? He's a trust. You know, you could trust this nigga's, this nigga's performance and know that he's going to come with it. You know what I'm saying? Give him his paper. Give him his fiat. And let that nigga work. That was Mook. That was Mook on, on, on times 10, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But not really. But yes, but not really. Because I, I'm like I told y'all, I know he could do way more than what he's doing. Way more. You're talking about a nigga that got fucking degrees, bro. University, bro. He know, man, look. Man, look. Tay Rock is going to survive this motherfucking... He going to survive this loss once again because y'all want to see him again. But my suggestion to Rock is like, bro, I feel like you'd be battling yourself. Like you'd be trying to get to the best of yourself, which is what you're supposed to do in private. When you get in that ring, bro, you, you got to really tear it down with that mindset of whatever's in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't really feel like you was you was on point like that for this move battle. I feel like it was more of a, I think it was a check to you, my nigga. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest, cause you was way more fire in that daylight battle. Y'all niggas lying, bro. Y'all niggas lying, bro. But Mook went crazy, nigga. Mook went crazy, nigga. That nigga went crazy. Oh yeah, and Rock third round. It was comedy, bro. Y'all gotta watch it if you had. It's just, it it just was like no, 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 no. I'm not finna sit here and call this a classic. No, 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 no. I'm not finna get y'all niggas that. Hell no. That wasn't no classic battle, bro. Tripping, nigga. Tripping, man. Rock third was straight comedy. Like, not even, not against Moog. It was like laughing at him, bro. No disrespect, but it was like, what? 
the cat woman and the wonder woman and it was corny as Even my auntie laughed at that shit and she's a six, like 60 something and she was like that was terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying like bro it was for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Tay Rock in that battle was for the kids. Mook in that battle was for the grown ass man. Plain and simple. Oh, and then Mook put some lines in the battle about like saying something like how Smack uh, gentrified the whole culture with dealing with these these Europeans, these hybrids. Oh man, and I don't know. I don't know if y'all caught this or maybe I will. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm looking too far into shit. Sometimes I could do that. But my nigga said when he was talking about um different battlers and shit and he was bringing up the Briz situation and he was talking about how niggas be getting took from battle rap you know and my nigga turned and to toward smack and said why you always take the real niggas from us I don't know maybe I'm thinking too deep into that because Mook be indirectly talking in a lot of his battles you know what I'm saying and he you know what I'm saying? It's kind of more than entertainment with Mook. If that's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? What I see, the aura and the vibe that reflects upon me. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta get this nigga Mook his flowers, man. This nigga is, if not the great, one of the greatest battle rappers of all time, nigga. All time, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, like look how he did our Iron Solomon. You know what I'm saying? Like, oof. Ooh, <laughs> nah, bro. You I, and then the the favoritism with the other battle rappers hyping Rock up as if he really, really, really like smashed on Mook. It's like, man, what y'all doing, man? What y'all doing over there, bro? It's time out for that shit, man. It's time out for that shit. A winner is a winner. A loser is a loser, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Like, subscribe, hit me on some comments. This, this really, like, I ain't really been recapping too many battles because this was something that I really got most excited for, like, in a while, you know, since the Daylight battle. As far as URL go, like, and a little bit of RBE, too, because that 40 Cal and Jag battle wasn't... It wasn't hidden, bro. It wasn't hidden, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't let battle rap fall. You know what I'm saying? It's just now getting about to get great. Don't let it fall. Come on, man. Pick it up. And these matchups, man. Y'all got to pick better matchups, bro. Y'all got to pick better matchups, man. When I'm going to get a Daylight and K-Shine? When we going to see that? I want to see that. I want to see that. No disrespect to Nitty, but I don't want to see Daylight and Nitty. Bro, just lost the read. I want to see motherfucking Daylight and Shine, nigga. Some epic shit. Come on, bro. Come on, Smack. Caffeine and nigga. What the fuck y'all doing, man? Especially with that whack-ass app, bro. At least make it available to where we can go back and watch them at least for a week. Seriously, like, like at least a week, bro. Anyway, like I said, man, like, subscribe, hit the comment section. If you want me to recap a battle, let me know. I ain't getting too excited for nothing coming up, like, nearly. Like, nah, man, nah, man. We got to step this shit up, bro. And then I want to see, I want to see niggas that's, you know, on an amateur level. I want to see them shine too, man. You know what I'm saying? Get them they flowers too. Let people allow people to see niggas grow. With y'all doing that app like that, y'all not letting see people grow. Everybody can't watch these battles live. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'ma holler at y'all, man. Y'all have a great day. Y'all have a great night. 
Life is good. Life is great. Never forget. Keep that vibration going. Peace and love. Praise to all. Kings Aki. Peace.